welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be this super glittery New Year's Eve look. I absolutely love it and we're going to jump right in and get started and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. Starting out, we're just going to jump right in with this foundation. This is the Becca Brand New Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. And I already primed my face with a little bit of facial primer. I'll link down below. So this is the first time of me using this foundation. And I liked it a lot. However, I did use shade medium, which was a tad bit too dark for me. So I'm going to have to bump up to the shade natural. But I've been wearing the foundation all day. And it looks absolutely stunning on the skin. My face looked really wet and moistured because I... I added a moisturizing primer underneath because I'm dealing with some major dry skin issues this winter. Then I went in with Frappe from Makeup Geek and I started blending that in the crease as my transition shade. I use my E25 brush from Sigma and I use this brush in every tutorial, basically all tutorial long. Then I mix together Cocoa Bear and Bitten by Makeup Geek and I blended these kind of in the outer corner and then I took whatever was left on the brush and I moved it into the crease in the inner corner. Um, and then I just took it and swished it around to make sure everything was blended out. If you notice, I'm using a super light hand and blending things out really soft and that's what gives you that nice gradient blended out look. If you ever feel like you're getting choppy and you can't get it blended out enough, Try blending for a longer time with a softer hand. So also what I like to do is go in with a big fluffy brush and just soften up any rough edges, especially whenever we're dealing with bright colors like that reddish color. Then I'm gonna go in with Americano, which has become one of my favorite matte brown colors from Makeup Geek. Again, using the A25, the same brush, you know your girl's just not gonna switch it up. I'm gonna pop that right on top of where I pop the other colors. I'm gonna push it into the inner corner and just start blending it out. And whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna blend it in the crease in the inner corner. Then I took Corrupt and this color from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'll link it down below because I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. What else is new? And I'm just going to keep building up color. You don't have to add this many colors if you don't want to. I just like for a look to look really gradient just to have like a whole bunch of colors um, building it up with the darker and darker colors and smoking it out. That's just my preference in makeup, but you don't have to get this extreme with it if you don't want to. But I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm blending it in the outer corner and taking what's left on the brush and blending it into the inner corner and crease and then of course we'll just take a fluffy brush of any sort and soften it up. My favorite part taking motives of spire, aspire glitter and I'm gonna pop this right into the center of the lid and I worked it a little bit inward with a flat synthetic brush and I did have a glitter primer right on top of my lid. As you can see, my other lid is shiny. So e.l.f. makes a really great one and Too Faced did. I used one from Violet Voss, which was awesome, but you don't have to use the exact same one as me. I'm just throwing out some options. <laughs> Then I'm going in with the Tarte um, Lights Camera Flashes and basically I'm just trying to coat my lashes with one quick coat that way they will mix in well with my falsies cause you know your girl loves the drama, the drama. Okay I'll quit singing. Now my favorite part of this tutorial is the false lashes, mostly because I get to do this with them. <laughs> I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Lana number 10 lashes. You can buy these at Sephora, that's where I bought mine. I'm gonna pop those on. I like doing super dramatic lashes, well basically every day, but especially whenever I'm not gonna be wearing eyeliner. Now I'll go in with my Naked Concealer by Urban Decay, and I'm gonna highlight the face. For some reason I thought it would be cool to make spider legs I don't know out of it and then I'm going in with my Bobbi Brown foundation stick and I'm gonna contour the face I have a full cream contour video on my channel I have like a bunch of them honestly because it's like my favorite contour method and I love breaking it down for you guys so if you search that on my channel you will find those videos and basically I'm just gonna put it in areas that need to be darkened and then I'm gonna blend that out with this chisel contour brush from Sigma Beauty I did this in fast mode because again, if you want like a really broken down version of this, then go to that video. But cream contouring is amazing for night makeup and most of the time on New Year's Eve, you're going out at night time. Whoop whoop, you guys be safe. Anyways, I'm just gonna blend all that out and then I'll take a clean kabuki just to soften it up a bit. And then I'm gonna take a dump shake kabuki and I'm gonna push in the highlight into the skin. And then I'll also do a little bit of swiping to blend it out. Now let me be real with you for just a minute and let you know on my 
well, my right, your left, a forehead temple area, you'll see a patch of brown. And I didn't get to blend out the freaking contour very well. I looked at it afterwards and I was like, darn it, Laura. Anyways, what I'm doing now is going in with my favorite Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm pushing it into the areas that we highlighted. And then I'm gonna let it set on my face for like five to seven to 10 minutes. And then I will blend it all off. And this made it look so flawless, so matte, so gorgeous. It just made the look, in my opinion. I'm just going to take this fluffy dawn shape brush. You can use a powder brush and dust away the excess powder. Oh, looks so pretty. Look at this palette. So I'm going to go in with Baby Love, which is this, this mauve blush color. I'm going to pop that onto the apples of the cheeks. This is where you could especially see where I didn't blend that contour good. It's killing me. And then I'm going to go in with What's Up by Benefit and pop this onto a few areas. Strobe a little and I'll blend that out with this little Real Techniques drugstore brush and just to soften all that cream color out. I love cream everything except for cream blush. I'm not a big fan of cream blush. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. I just feel like I should. Once that was all finished, I went in with Strip Down by MAC and lined my lips, and then I went in with the Violet Voss Liquid Lipstick, which was a nice nude color, and applied it in the center. Real quick, let me just let you know that I completely forgot to um, hit record while I was adding mascara to the lower lashes. So I did take a little bit of Cocoa Bear, the warm brown color, added it to the lower lashes, and then I just popped on some mascara. And I didn't do any liner in the waterline just because the eyeshadow was so dramatic. It was just not necessary. But do you, boo. Do as you please. Take what you want from this tutorial. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being such a supportive, amazing, amazing YouTube family this year. I can't thank you enough for subscribing to me and the likes and the sweet comments. You're all amazing and I hope you have an amazing safe new year. Bye guys.